Welcome, welcome, NX community, you fabulous bunch of folks who are so creative and amazing. It is quite the privilege to today bring you some information about the new measurement tool. When I say it's new, maybe I shouldn't use the term new, it's been out for a couple of years now, and what I find in my travels is that a lot of people are still a little confused about how to use it. And after a while, you become adept at using it. And I'd like to share some secrets, if you will, some ways of, sh of using this tool that will really provide the kind of functionality and ability that you probably had with the old tool. So as you can see, I've got a model here. And first things first, I click on analysis and I go to measure and I get the basic measurement tool. And the first thing I've got to say about this measurement tool is a lot of things that you were accustomed to before from previous versions are compiled into one big huge menu. And so there's really four things that you have to pay attention to if you want to get the measurements that you're accustomed to and that will really help you out. Number one, please pay attention to the filter up here. Uh, when you pay attention to the filter and you select certain entities, it makes it easy. Number two, pay attention to what kind of object you are measuring, whether it's going to be a point or something along a vector or an object set. So in general, if you leave it on object, you'll do well with this tool. That's number two. Number three, pay attention to the measurement method. Are you doing what's known as a free measure? Or are you doing pairs of objects? Are you measuring from one reference object or chains of objects to measure? And number four, the result filter. Remember, this filter only filters the information that is said or information that is available once you have measured. This is not a filter for selection. It's a filter for what is going to be shown to you. So those are the four things that I think, in my experience, people get a little bit confused about. So now let's check it out and see how it goes. I would like to measure from this face to that face, I'd like to measure a distance. So the very first thing I do is put this on face. It'll make it easier. Leave this on object, leave this on measurement method. And the distance is what I'm going to want to see. I don't want to see information about the faces, so I'm turning that off. Good. And now I select the first face and I rotate a little bit. I select the second, oops, I selected the wrong face there. So I'm going to hold my finger on the shift key or I'm going to delete the second object, remove, and go to that face. And so now, as you can see, I've got the distance. This happens to be the minimum distance between those two faces. If I want the maximum distance, I can click on that. And so you can see that even in this little display menu that comes up, I have a bit of choice. Okay, so every time you want to measure the distance between two faces or a face and a point or whatever it may be, definitely go to the filter, see what's on the filter, go to the object, make sure your measurement method is commensurate with what you want to see, and then uh, do the results display and then select what you want. Now, in this new measurement tool, uh, the list of the objects that I select is very convenient because if I decide that I want the distance between this face, let's say, and that face, I can deselect or remove the face that I measured to and go over and select this new face and get a new distance. And I can deselect that and go to, let's say, the uh, center of this, this um, cylinder. Um, if I want to go to the center of the cylinder, though, look at this. If I'm trying to select that center, my filter is on face, so that's not going to work. So I've got to remove that entity go to no selection filter, select until I get the actual center. And there is the measurement from the face to the center of the cylinder. So it's about your filter. It's about the object. It's about the kind of measurement that you're doing. And it's about the display. So if you remember those four things, 
then this measurement tool is very easy and convenient to use and allows you to do certain things that you were definitely not able to do in the old tool.